Hi, this is Thunder Yee from BorderWalk.com and welcome. Uh, today we'll be talking about everything we've heard and learned about the Galaxy Nexus as well as Ice Cream Sandwich which is Android 4.0. So Google and Samsung just wrapped up the event in Hong Kong. Uh, we saw their live feed on, on YouTube and let's uh, let's go over all the details we got so far and do, do a nice good little run up for you guys. So first thing they announced was Galaxy Nexus. Galaxy Nexus is the latest in the Nexus line of smartphones and it's truly a remarkable device altogether. Of course, on its thinnest point, it is 8.94 millimeters thin, uh, which is the HSPA Plus version. It will come in HSPA Plus as well as LTE. Um, the device has a 4.65 inch display, so it's pretty much the largest display so far for a smartphone, close to five inches really, really anyway. Um, but the display is a HD Super AMOLED display, so therefore the resolution is 1280 by 720. Yes, a HD screen in your pocket, pretty much like that big. So that's the display. There are no physical buttons on the device, as you can see with the pictures. No physical buttons. Um, every, all the buttons are on screen. So basically, the extra space in the display is also to allow for accommodate for the uh, buttons on the screen. Um, it does does have a hyper skin back, so it's basically slip resistant. Um, it's got a five megapixel camera on the device. Now the cool thing about the camera it has continuous focus, zooming, while recording, and time lapse feature. So you can actually do some time lapse recording, and it shows some sample videos, and it looks quite good, very very good. Um, also, um, a lot of built-in features to the device. It's got either 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes variants. It will support HSB uh, plus speeds of up to 21 megabits per second or 42 dependent. So we're not exactly sure about those, but of course, full LTE support. It's got Bluetooth 3.0. It's got full NFC support, and some of the NFC stuff, which we'll mention later on in the video, uh, like the uh, the beam feature, which allows you to basically transfer any kind of information via NFC from NFC from one device to another. Um, it's also got Wi-Fi um, A uh, A B G N uh, two frequency twenty four gigahertz two point four gigahertz as well as five gigahertz so dual frequency Wi-Fi band, um, and it's got a one point two gigahertz uh, dual core chip. Now. Um, <coughs> So that's pretty much all we have for the hardware specs in total there. But again, the device is solid overall, looks premium, looks fresh, very thin. Um, it's got ports that you can actually slide into a dock for a laptop, for a, a tablet. So that's something to take note, and we'll see uh, more of that in the future. Now to ice cream sandwich. A lot of, um, a lot of changes have been made to ice cream sandwich. On the surface, it kind of looks like honeycomb on a phone, but there's still a lot of things there. Visually, first thing you, you notice is the new lock system it has a facial recognition lock system. So basically, um, once you hold up your phone, it will basically the front facing camera will look at you and will unlock the phone if it's you in front of the camera. So basically, if you're cheating on your wife or your girlfriend, she can basically pick up your phone, put it in front of you while you're sleeping, and unlock the bloody thing. So be careful about that. But anyway, that's a side note. Um, that's one th new thing there. Uh, there's also improved Gmail allows you to uh, better organize uh, email sequences where you can uh, sweep through emails. Also, you do have the ability to um, search your emails uh, offline for 30 days or more. The taskbar menu is not a built-in taskbar menu like you find in the Android tablets, but now you can actually swipe and end applications. All you have to do is either swipe it left or right and it will end the application for you. Very easy, very simple. This is a built-in photo editor in the gallery also. So you're looking at pictures you've taken, you can actually edit the photos in there. There's a people hub a la Windows Phone. So basically, you know, everyone steals from everyone at this day anyway, where your people hub organizes all your friends, uh, everyone in your contacts together. You have your the information from your social feeds. You can see everything happening with them in one hub called the people hub. Um, so uh, those are some of the features. There's a lot more with Ice Cream Sandwich uh, um, overall, which we will get into. But one of the things I mentioned was the Beam uh, Beam feature, where which allows you to basically take, say, your uh, Galaxy Nexus. I have one, and you have one, and I see you, and I'm watching a video, and you're like, oh, what video is that? I can just basically tap that, tap your phone, and boom, beams a YouTube video over to you. you can beam over a website link over to you. you can beam a. Uh, uh, um, contact information, whatever it is. So basically you just have to tap and transfer. Very easy, very cool, and it's a nice, easy feature um, to use on the device. So a lot of cool things have been added to Ice Cream Sandwich to make it more uh, robust, more clean, uh, better organization of folders, uh, 
new live wallpapers, you name it. A whole bunch of stuff. So when we get our hands on the device, we'll give you guys a full tour of ice cream sandwich as well as the Galaxy uh, Nexus, which looks super cool, premium. Um, you know, though it has a 5 megapixel camera, it still, it still records at 1080p. But uh, if you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with 2 O's. So this is Thunder E from Border Work saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment.